Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here in YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this video is a little bit different from what I usually do. It is a review of a book. And the book is called The Art of Mead Tasting and Food Pairing. And the thing about it is, it has a lot of recipes, and it tells you what meads to go, you might want to try with it. And so I thought, you know, it'd be kind of neat. I'm going to choose this mustard pork tenderloin recipe. I'm going to make it. And here you can see the author also recommends various meads that would pair nicely with the food. So one of them is something called um, Helgeberg Heritage Mead from Helderberg Mead Works. So I ordered it. I said, hey, this is going to be fun. Because, oh, and in this video, I I'm going to make the recipe. And I'll talk a little bit about that. And you can watch me make it. And also, I'm going to sit down and eat it, and, and, I'm, and I'm going to try the mead and give you my thoughts about the mead, the food, and the pairing. But here, let's take a quick look at that. Before we launch into the intro, let's take a quick look at that mead. I had it shipped. I think I FedExed it for three days because I was anxious. I wanted to get this project going. So there you go. It looks good. Nice, beautiful brown color. Let's do the intro, and then let's start with the cooking. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you art of real creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the mustard pork tenderloin. You want to start? Um, the, the, the recipe recommends a pound of um, pork tenderloin. And if you have not, never had pork tenderloin, you should really try it, because it's wonderful. I love, I love pork tenderloin. Um, one pound of it here, you cut it lengthwise and then cut it sideways um, across the grain, a uh, quarter inch to a half inch. So you end up with about a pound of it like this. And I actually bought a two pound packet so I could um, make some more tenderloin. And it's breaded, and the breading is very simple. It's some flour, I think believe it's three tablespoons of flour, and some pepper, and some black pepper and some salt. And then you put that in the bag. And you put your tenderloin in there. And you shake it up. And um, in this in this video, um, it, this isn't a this isn't really a step by step how to cook everything and how to do it kind of thing. But um, I, and I, I do have the recipe and the exact steps. They're, they're in the book. I also have a link, so if you're interested here, check the description of this video, go to the link uh, to my website where you can buy the book, and you can see the recipe, and I'll tell you more about it, and give you more of a review about the various parts of the book, and uh, the interesting sections, and stuff like that. But see, there you go, now it's breaded. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cook it and brown it. So in a saucepan, we just um, melt up some butter, and add that tenderloin. And um, I overloaded the pan here a bit. You probably should do it in batches, but uh, that's okay. It didn't matter much for me. But you want to cook it, and so it's not um, pink in the middle anymore, and it's nicely browned. And you know, flip them over. I'm fancy. I'm gonna flip a few here for you to see. But I gotta tell you, I can't talk enough about pork tenderloin. It's it's just wonderful. It's so tender. Well, it's called tenderloin, I guess, right? It's so tender and it's so, it, it has a beautiful taste. And I'm curious, I was curious because, you know, this recipe has sour cream and Dijon mustard in it. And I was like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so you we removed that tenderloin from the pan after it was done. And now we're going to add some veggies. So we're going to brown some uh, pearl onions. And once those are nicely brown, we're going to add some green cut, um, frozen green cut beans. And then we're going to make our sauce. And here's the sauce. It's sour cream. And I think, I believe it's like eight ounces of sour cream, a cup of milk. A qu I think that's a quarter cup of um, Dijon mustard. I, I, I should check that. Now let me see. Um, yeah, a quarter cup of Dijon mustard, some dill, some salt, and some pepper. Then whisk it. And there we go. There's our sauce. And I, you know, I was really excited about this because 
The tenderloin is so tasty. And the Dijon mustard and the sour cream would be, I thought would be a very interesting mix. And and how that can contrast it against the mead was something I was looking forward to. So you put the tenderloin back in the pan. And then add your sauce. It smells so good. You know, I had had a long day this day. Um, a lot of things I had to take care of and get done. And I was running around a lot. And... And I almost didn't do this recipe this day. I was like, maybe I should wait till tomorrow. But um, I was I'm, at the end of the day when I sat down to eat. I was really glad I did it. So I mix it up and then and then uh, reduce it down, cook it slowly, get to thicken it. So now let's talk about and and this isn't the exact order. You have to time things a little bit here, but it's an easy recipe. Um, it calls for spetzla, which is a Bavarian noodle, a German noodle. Um, my local grocery, I've had it many times, I love spätzle, but my local grocery, uh, uh, spätzle, sometimes it's called, my local grocery store didn't have any, so they also, the, the author also recommends you can use, you know, an egg noodle, so that's what I did, I used an egg noodle, and, um, a half a cup of peeled and, sl and sliced carrots, add them 10 minutes, about 10 minutes before your pasta is ready, and then you can drain it, return it to the pan, and um, we're done. That's it. So now, dish yourself out. And this makes two. And actually, you know, depending on how many noodles you make, you can, this, you can feed, I'm thinking you could feed four with this. But dish yourself some out in a pan and then add your pork tenderloin and sauce. And that's wonderful. Look at that. So now tasting it. So like I was saying, you know, I had a long day and I sat down and I opened the mead and I'm going to show you that. And just the, just the act of cooking a meal and taking your time about that and preparing it and then sitting down and relaxing and eating the meal it was just, I was glad I did it. Even though I was tired, I had a long day. I it just, it was just, I don't know, a nice way to end the day. It reminded me of this old Krista Berg song. What was that? At the end of a perfect day, I think it was. But anyway, on to the mead. Oh, my wax poetic there. Helderberg Meadworks Heritage Mead. And the word there, heritage, made me think, you know, this is like a traditional mead. And to my palate, I, I haven't researched it any, but it seems to me it is. It's, um, it's dark. It's got a beautiful dark color. It's got a little bit of leg to it. And um, it's, it's on the sweet side. And if you are not an expert, at, well, how do I say this? If you've never tried mead, you want to know what it's all about, this is a, actually a good choice to get, really. Um, it has a wonderful honey flavor to it. You know, this, to me, this, this mead strikes me as a wonderful basic mead that'll give you a good sense for what a mead is all about. You know, it's, uh, look at that color, see that beautiful? It has the, the color, the aroma, and the sweetness of it is just beautiful. So the interesting thing for me was, as far as the poop food pairing goes, I was a little bit in, uh, I don't know what the right word is, but surprised that the mustard pork tenderloin, which is really good because we've got the sour cream and the Dijon mustard in there, it gives it the food a little bit of a tang. And then I moved on to the mead, which is a little on the sweet side. So I had, there was this beautiful pairing of the tanginess and the heartiness of the food and the heartiness with the sweetness of the mead. And I was like, wow, this stuff is really good. Good book. Um, I, I'm going to talk more about it. And, I, and You should go to my website and check out the review page because there's more to this book than just recipes. There's a lot in there. Uh, thanks. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.